So growing up with a PK deficiency, um, honestly, I'm not really sure. I think being diagnosed at such an early age was probably better for me. Um, I grew up in doctor's appointments, hospitalizations, blood jaws, medications, transfusions, all of these things were just a normal part of life. And I think it took me a very long time to understand that that actually was not normal. That was outside of the norm. Um, I think uh, to me, I just, it was go with the flow. Like this is normal life and this is what you do. So um, I don't think it was too traumatic. Um, and I, it was, actually kind of helpful, I think, because it really initially helped me to form that understanding of balancing life and at that time school and gymnastics with this other part of my world that other people didn't have to deal with. Growing up, I think being a competitive gymnast, um, I do think it was hard and now I think being an adult and looking back at it, it kind of gives me a little bit more of a understanding of, oh, this is probably why this was really hard. Um, like certain things like running, I would never had the endurance other kids had. Um, playing outside, things like that. I mean, I did all those normal activities um, because my parents really never raised me to think like, hey, you have this, like you need to take it easy. They were very, you know, this is what it is. These were the cards you were dealt and deal with it. Um, so, which was probably very good for me um, because I grew up very normal, but I do remember being very tired, not being able to keep up and progress, like even through gymnastics, like being able to progress like other kids were. Um, and I just thought maybe it was just a talent issue with me. I never actually thought that maybe it was just because of this PK deficiency that, you know, my body handled things differently.